So I've had my batteries on this uh, 12 volt maintainer for a couple weeks now and it says they're up to 100%. Uh, some people did uh, ask if I had a battery disconnect and yeah I do. It's hiding back in there, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and unhook this thing and uh, uh, start up the bus. It's uh, 41 degrees today. Should crank over a little bit faster. I've also been uh, doing a little work here on the bay where my propane tank was. I, uh, I had a, a leak in the gauge of that tank so I decided to remove it and have a shop um, go through and replace that gauge. It wasn't a real big deal to get it out of here. It was really uh, two bolts on the back of these brackets that uh, held the tank in. And then there was a strap across the top. Uh, so it was pretty straightforward to get that thing out of there. I'll, uh, I'll shoot some more video of that when uh, it's time to reinstall. But, uh, you know, I had to just disconnect a couple lines here, get a few things out of the way, and uh, yard that out of there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and fire up the bus. Well, I'm a little annoyed to find that uh, all the air is leaked out of my rear bags. So, something's up with that. Got a leak somewhere that's affecting both of them. I'm gonna see if uh, this rear start button works. I got the ignition on up front. Never really tried it. This kitty litter on the ground is related to my recent uh, power steering system replacement or re replace the steering gear. That's on another video on the channel, but I think I might've overfilled it a bit. Came back here and found a leak when it was cold, so. I want to see if that happens again. Let's see if this button works. Damn. Maybe I need to turn on the block warmer, huh? I ain't liking that much. I would have think, thought she would have cranked over by now. Try it again.
You know, I was uh, watching uh, Bus Grease Monkey here, looking at uh, Lance's video of his bus and that DIY Stone Bennett shifter control that they have. I got a similar setup on this bus. Uh, yeah. Has the uh, it has the stone bennett in back, but uh, it's got this sort of a homemade control. I have the schematic for it. If uh, people are interested, um, I can go ahead and share that with you. Air finally stopped beeping. Now this bus does have a fast idle feature that is incorporated into the cruise control. This cruise control doubles as a um, as a fast idle. So the procedure is turn it on. This is the speed knob here. Push this button twice and then adjust the knob until your idle comes up to where you want it. Now this other noise you're hearing is my uh, air system starting to fill the bags. There is a, um, a preset there's a Skinner valve down there with a um, an adjustable pressure for this system here. It comes on, it's hooked to this switch, and uh, it'll it'll fill all the bags with a preset amount of air. So that's what's going on with that. There's my jig switch. Bring the idle up a little bit more here. That's about all I get with that. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. My idle set pretty high um, on purpose. A little bit of a story to that. Voltage read 13 volts uh, when I started cranking. Look, it's charging now. We'll go ahead and go on out to the engine compartment here.
What the heck was that? Is that my shutoff valve or something? You know, we've had some freezing temps here. Something was hissing back here when I shut it off. <sighs> I just got to wonder if it was this guy related to this because I'm going to do it again. See if I can get that to repeat. That was a one-time event, huh? Oh boy, I hate intermittent problems. It'd be hard to track down. It's my thing out of focus here. It looks like the camera, there it goes. Damn thing was out of focus. I thought I had some schmutz on the lens. Anyways, uh, that's it for bus playtime today. Batteries are working good now. Hope y'all like uh, the channel. We'll try and post frequently. Y'all would subscribe. We appreciate it. Helps out. Thanks.